determining the contents of Windows Installer Transforms. A transform or MST file is a file that can be used to modify an MSI installation during the installation process. It can't be applied after the fact as it is inherently something that sits um, kind of on top of the MSI and affects the default behavior of that MSI during the installation process. So you can use this to specify defaults or um, values and in the case of a silent installation you can use it to dictate um, all of the values that will be automatically selected during installation. You can also add files, shortcuts, registry entries, custom actions, anything you would do within an MSI, you can do in an MST. And you should do in an MST if it's an MSI that you have um, to start with when you begin um, customizing your installation for deployment. The problem you run into is when you receive a transform file from a vendor or from a colleague or perhaps you created it a long time ago and don't remember what you did, it can be difficult to see what the contents of the transform file is in that it can't be viewed alone and um, sits alongside the MSI. So when you open an MST, um, the software you're using will ask you, well, what MSI is this associated with? And once you provide that, what you end up viewing is the MSI with the changes employed by the MST and separating um, what exists in the MST from what exists in the baseline MSI can be a little problematic. Um, there's different tools to allow you to see what these changes are and uh, obviously that's the topic of this presentation. We'll be looking at a couple of different tools and um, how you can go about examining these contents. There are obviously a great number of tools available on the market, um, some of which do and do not provide a facility for viewing the contents of an MST, and um, some do so better than others. What we're going to do here is take a look at some of the most common tools used um, by administrators, as well as a um, freeware tool that comes in the um, Office Resource Kit. So we'll take a look at uh, Wise Package Studio, uh, Install Shield Admin Studio, uh, Microsoft Orca and the MST viewer from the Office Resource Kit and um, we'll look at a demo I'll walk you through the process of examining MST contents with each of these tools now. So let's get started looking at Wise Package Studio which is one of the most common MSI manipulation tools used by administrators We'll go ahead and open up an MSI that's already aware of the MST with which it's associated. Um, save us a little bit of time here. Now we won't be able to view the changes within the installation expert view. We need to go over to the setup editor view, which is kind of the table view uh, is actually where we're going to have to go to see the changes. But WISE has this tool visual MSI diff built in where you can compare the contents of two MSIs, or in this case, a transform to the current MSI. Here we have a key for what is contained. Um, we can see both the values in the MST and the original values in the MSI, whether something's been changed, added, or removed. Now there's a couple of views over here on the left where you can view the contents of the MSI different ways, but it's the table view that we need to stick in to see where the changes are reflected by visual MSI diff. Alongside the tables that have changes, you see this change icon. In this case, we see the file has been removed using the MST. Files, registries, um, properties are really the most common things that you'll see changed in, in MST, although you can change anything. And uh, here we see the value before and after the MST. A uh, file's been added by, or a property rather, has been added by the MST. and um, another has been removed. Now there can be other things that show up as change that may be inconsequential and the validation table is a good example of this um, just in the process of applying the MST some things in the validation table changed which we really don't care about. So 99 percent of the time the places you're going to want to look are the 
file registry and property tables for changes, particularly when it's a response transform. Uh, in that case, you're dealing almost exclusively with property value changes. So now let's jump into Install Shield Admin Studio, another very popular tool among admins. This provides a little more user friendly look at the contents of an MST. So let's go ahead again. The MST in this case knows about the MSI it's associated with, so it's not going to ask us. But once we get opened up here, this is the um, Install Shield 10 Professional, which is the editor for Admin Studio. We're going to go over to the, um, the property manager for a second just to show you this is the normal interface for viewing properties, but when you're looking at the differences in an MST, you need to go to this direct editor view. See there the validation table has been modified by that icon like we looked at before. The file table, there's the file removed. Much more easy to see that it has indeed been removed. Uh, let's, scroll, let's, scroll. let's take a look at that property table again. You can see it's been edited again by that icon. And scrolling down, we can see this one's been removed. This one's been added. Um, for the Palm users value, if you hover over it, we can see that zero pop up. That tells us that's what it used to be until the transform got a hold of it, and um, which it changed that value to one. So a very good view for looking at this, although you do have to go to the direct editor, you can get a pretty clear intuitive picture of uh, just what's been changed. All right, we're going to take a look at um, determining MST contents with Orca, which is a tool provided with the Windows installer SDK. It's really intended mostly for developers or if you just need to take a quick look at the contents of an MSI or MST and perhaps make a quick change but as far as really going in and adding um, significant functionality you really want to go with a more graphical editor. That being said a lot of people do use Orca um, that are just familiar with it or are comfortable with the Windows installer table structure and what everything is and where it needs to go. So um, it actually does have a good validation facility built into it and uh, as you'll see here um, you can indeed see changes made by an MST. So let's take a look. If Worker has got nothing else going for it, it is free. <laughs> so we'll open up our MSI. You can see this is just a list of tables here. You click on the table, you see the properties and values or values contained within that table. So apply a transform, we choose it, and now you can see over on the left hand side the file table has been changed by that indicator and that green line through it means that's been removed. We'll scroll down a little more and take a look at those properties. Um, again indicated by that marker that it's been changed. This is a little hard to look at but it is showing you what changes have been made, um, that something's been added, removed, etc. So um, it will do the trick for you. If you just need to take a quick peek, this might be the tool for you. Now with these other tools and even their demos, if that's all you can get your hands on at your disposal, you may not need to take uh, advantage of this tool. However, it does exist, so we'll take a quick look at it. Within the Office Resource Kit, which is available for download online for free, um, there is a tool called mstview.exe, which will generate a text file and display to you in Notepad the changes um, employed by and MST. So let's have a look. Now there's not a whole lot to show here because it is a very straightforward tool, but you select the MSI, you select the MST, you click View Transform, and that's what you get. It's uh, not the most user-friendly report that exists, but if you have an idea of what you're looking for or um, want to save the information as to what changes with an MST, th this can indeed be a helpful tool. Um, to view and see what changes have been made kind of intuitively, the other tools are obviously um, going to do a better job at that. But if you want to report, this, this is a free tool and it does the trick. 
Well, I hope this is something that you've found useful and it's shown you something you don't know, maybe exposed you to a product you hadn't seen before. Um, if you want to discuss this, as always, the forums at appdeploy.com are a great place to do it. We've got a lot of um, very helpful users that are um, you know, members, helping members, and um, really answering a lot of questions, people asking good questions, providing good answers, and uh, really building a community that I'll hope you take advantage of. Thank you.